Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a Wooks Walking Guide for Old School RuneScape. Uh, essentially with any weapon that you could want, we're going to be using melee to start. We'll get into a crossbow method and a blowpipe method as well. This is just for Wooks Walking. If you need a full Warcath guide, the link will be on screen now. I'll also have it in the description if you need, but with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So making our way on over to Warcath, we'll talk about what the Wooks Walking method is and why it is useful. As normal, you'll do your typical damage and then after long enough you'll get one of two special attacks from Vorkath. We're looking primarily for the green one that throws a bunch of acid pools on the ground everywhere. This is perfect. Uh, typically if you didn't know how to wooks walk you'd probably just sit here and walk back and forth as to avoid damage falling at your feet. Uh, but with the wooks walking method you can actually walk back and forth and attack while you're doing so and avoid them at the same time. So we'll get into all of the different weapons and methods now. To start, there are a few plugins of note that you could contemplate using. One that I surely recommend is Tile Indicators. This will show the tile that you're currently standing on, and as you move, that tile will move with you. That allows you to better see where your character is located and to be able to walk back and forth every single tick much more efficiently. In addition to that, you can turn on ground markers that will allow you to then shift and right click and you can mark tiles. This is useful if you are standing at a certain point in the room, whether it be with a blowpipe or a rune crossbow and you can sort of mark which tiles you should be at. Say for instance here with the rune crossbow, you start here, then you walk backwards and then you go sideways. So that will make sure that you are in the right location. And then finally, you could try out the metronome plug-in if you like. Uh, basically, whenever you have that on, it'll make a noise like this. And you can program it to once every so many ticks, primarily one or two is going to be what most people are going to want to use. And that just sort of gets you in the groove of the game tick mechanic and how time works in game. So would only recommend that if you're starting, but that is it for the useful plugins. So in the film room, breaking down some tape, let's go ahead and do it. This is going to be the melee method because in my opinion, it's the easiest to learn. So we'll start with that. So what you're gonna wanna do is look for the green acid attack and walk back two spaces, which is precisely what I do here. So as soon as I see it, walk back two and find yourself a clear column. I move over to the west two slots. I am right on the west side and I am then going to attack Vorkath as you can see here. Pressing play, once my blue square hits the furthest north tile attacking Vorkath, you're then going to want to click backward. So my tile indicator is telling me I'm already near Vorkath, I want to go back two steps, which is what I do here. To be fair, I am clicked three tiles back rather than two, but you'd rather click further back than, you know, not enough, so. I then allow my character to move back those two tiles before clicking Vorkath again, and we repeat the process consistently throughout the entire acid phase. If you want to go off visual cues, something I recommend is looking at your lance or whatever weapon you may be using. As soon as you start to rear it back, that's a good time to click. As you can see here, my weapon is reared back, and I have a click already set off to go back south. It's pretty easy, and if you're having trouble learning it, what I would recommend is do it during the kill whenever the acid is not out. It's not exclusive to the acid phase you could just do it normally you're not wasting any ticks so there is nothing inherently wrong with it and it's good to be able to get the momentum that way next is really just me showing off but also an alternative option if you find this easier or maybe you're stuck in a predicament where the acid sort of has you stuck towards vorkath here you can click vorkath click back click vorkath click back and do so every single tick. And if you do that, you also will not get hit and you will be able to continuously attack every time that your weapon is enabled. So in this case, four ticks, and you can just click back, click forward. And for me, this is kind of soothing. I mean, there's really nothing too terribly wrong with this. It's a lot more consistent because you know you have to click every single tick. And if you want to impress yourself and try it out, feel free. It's also just kind of nice to be able to get the game mechanics down, but not necessary by any means. Onto the blowpipe method, this is very similar to the one tick style that I've just shown with the lance, except we're going to be further back on the edge of the blowpipe range. So here I am four tiles north of the furthest south part of the room. You're actually going to want to be three. As you'll come to see, as soon as the acid attack is shot out, I do walk backwards one step, being on the third north tile from the southern edge of the room. I also then go ahead and find myself to a nice tile that has no acid around it because you don't want to walk into it. As you can see, as soon as I am on that tile, I am clicked on Vorkath, and in a tick from now, I will then walk inward. As soon as I do that, I'll attack, and then I'll walk backward. You're going to want to continue that process throughout the entire kill. 
At some point, as you'll see here in a second, I do walk too far back, but you can just wait that out and then go back to your one ticking back and forth. It's pretty simple, I would say, once you get the pattern down. As I mentioned before with the Dragon Hunter method, you can actually just do this during the kill without the acid out if you want to get a bit more consistency with it. That'd be something I'd recommend. And then finally, we have the crossbow method. So what you're gonna wanna do is be one tile north of the southern edge of the room, as you can see here. As soon as you see the green acid attack, you're gonna wanna take a step backwards and three steps to the side. So as you'll see here, I'll take three steps to the west, then click on Vorkath for your attack, and then go backwards after the attack. As you'll see here, I then click backwards, go three tiles more to the west, click backwards, three tiles to the east, click backwards after an attack, and continue this process throughout the entire kill. This one's not as easy to get down because it's not as much of a pattern, but ultimately it's just as easy once you do it enough kills, it becomes second nature. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Helps me, helps the channel. Anything you want to add, would love to hear in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as we go live, make sure to subscribe. Discord, clan chat, all that fun stuff down below in the description. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.